It's got hand-drawn visuals, an interesting battle mechanic, and a unique story. But is that really all that? Let me break it down for you. And be sure to share your thoughts in the comments below. I played that during the Steam Next Fest demo, and while the demo didn't explain everything super well, I did some digging to piece it together. That is a 2D, story-rich, turn-based RPG where your choices shape the events and story. You will gain various skills and use them strategically in battle against mysterious creatures. The hand-drawn art style sets the game apart and according to devs, the non-linear story leads to multiple endings, which adds to their replayability. You play as Cyrus, a young guy who arrives in the city of Micropolis, looking for a fresh start, but things take a strange turn when he discovers he has the ability to teleport between two worlds, the normal one and a magical, mysterious realm. These worlds are somehow connected and your action in one affects the other. In the human world you will be making decisions and interacting with characters, uncovering the deeper story behind your origins and your powers. But the real action takes place in the magical world, where you will fight strange and hostile creatures. You will have to stay sharp and plan your moves carefully, staying one step ahead of your enemies. As you progress you will find out that some sort of baying is inside your head, following you. In human world this baying takes the form of an artifact, but in the magical world it becomes a living sword. Oh, and did I mention the magical world is made up of floating islands? Yep, you'll be hopping from island to island, battling monsters and gathering energy from defeated creatures to upgrade a floating village. Upgrading the village unlocks new skills and possibilities, which are essential for surviving through tougher challenges ahead. Combat is turn-based and each fight takes place on a small battlefield where Cyrus stands on four different tiles. You will notice red triangles marking danger zone, indicating where the enemy will strike. The trick is to position yourself on safe tiles while attacking. Each skill you use has a cost and once you turn this up, you want to be standing away from the red zones. If you end up in market zone, you are guaranteed to take heavy damage, but if you avoid them, there's a small chance the enemy might miss. Upgrading your skills through the village allows you to move more freely between tiles, and even use defensive abilities to dodge these devastating fulfilled boss attacks. Another cool feature is the skill bar. It's divided into four sets, one for each tile. Naturally, if you are standing on the far left tile, you can't use the skill that pushes you even more to the left. This adds a strategic layer to combat and managing your position and skills become key to surviving tougher enemies. If you lose a battle, any energy you have gathered can be spent in the village. Afterward you can retreat the fight, but this time with more power and strategy on your side. The hand-drawn art style is stunning and really stands out from most games. However, the animations are computer-generated, which gives it a bit of a mobile game feel, even though it's a full-fledged PC title. The vibrant colors and details design make the world come alive, and it's clear that devs put a lot of time and effort into creating the visual masterpiece. In fact, they have shared that the game took 12 years to develop. As much as I love the art, the computer-based animation don't quite match the hand-drawn charm, but I get why they did it. Animating everything by hand will take taken even more time, and this mix of style allows for more complexity without sacrificing details. The music is solid and it really enhances the experience, however a few of the tracks are a bit too loud, dropping the volume about 3 decibels would be nice. The battle music, while good, can get a little repetitive after a while, so I hope the devs add some variety in the final version. Still, the overall quality is high and it's add to the atmosphere of the game. Vet started out as a Metroidvania-style platformer before evolving into a turn-based story-driven RPG, and it's come a long way. There are a few quirks though, for instance at one point a tough Cyrus was blind because his eyes were closed and a few cutscenes, but there is nothing in the story or on the Steam page that hints at that. It leaves me a bit confused. The devs also mentioned using lip-sync technology for the dialogues, and while it's decent, it's not perfect. The characters mouth smooth, but sometimes it feels like they are just moving for the sake of it. Still, it's better than not lip-syncing at all and it does make the cutscenes feel more alive. Overall, these are small details that don't take away from the experience, and it's clear that devs put their hearts into the game. I'm really enjoying that so far. The story has hooked me and the combat is engaging, especially if you are into turn-based strategy games. If you like what you've heard, I'd recommend trying out the demo, which is available right now. I can't wait to play more and see where the story goes. That has a lot of potential and I think it could become a big title in RPG world. If you are into narrative driven games with unique combat, definitely give it a shot. You can find link to the game in the description and if you like this video, be sure to subscribe for more reviews of lesser known, upcoming or just plain cool indie games. Thanks for watching and I will see you in next video, see ya!